Yes, sir. We're officially back at it. This is Book Nice coming at you with the Mesco Toys 112 Collective, a Clockwork Orange movie, Alex D. Large figure review. Let's do it. This ain't for no scalper. You a scalper? Then fuck out shit. This one for them real collectors. That's army building and posing figures. Marvel Legends, imports, many maybe I'm fucking with. High beast we know about. You. Stay buying figs, don't. And a quick look at the side art. You can see his top hat, one eye, 112 Collective at the top, Mesco Toys by Collectors for Collectors. Pretty much the same thing on the other side. On the back, a couple of pictures of the figure. We're going to get into the figure, so no need to look at this too intensely. Let's get this guy open. All right, so I've got Alex out of the package, and let me tell you guys right off the bat, I have never seen a Clockwork Orange. I don't really know much about the movie except for the brief moment of uh, research that I did right before this this uh, review. I know that Alex is the main character. I know that this movie was adapted from a novel and then uh, Stanley uh, Kubrick uh, made the film and the fella that played Alex is uh, Malcolm McDowell who we've seen in a lot of stuff, uh, modern stuff. And uh, it's about a group of gang members in the future who spend their time getting high and fighting and then this guy tries to go into some like conversion therapy to kind of, uh, I guess, uh, quell his uh, violent tendencies and it doesn't go as planned. Now, I picked up this character because, or this figure, because I just wanted the parts, to be honest. Um, I got it for a cheap price on a media discount and I wanted the hands and I wanted to maybe take off the uh, top layer here and have a, 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 a bare chested uh option and I wanted the battle damage head that he comes with uh, but the figure seems pretty decent and the costume here looks accurate uh, it looks pretty cool so let's get into his accessories and actually real quick before I start swapping on parts uh, taking a close look at this head sculpt and the deco does this look like a young Malcolm McDowell I think so I think they did a decent job on this I don't really see too many problems. I don't see any paint imperfections. And from what I've seen, I think the deco here is accurate. Like I mentioned, I assume this is like a jock strap or something, maybe a guard for when they out fighting in case he gets hit in the balls. Uh, I really like what they did here with the suspenders. There is some actual uh, elasticity there. And you can see these little eyeball cufflinks, I guess. That's pretty cool. Uh, this whole entire uh, jock strap is a separate part. And uh, yeah, man, I think they did a nice job here. So he comes with two fists out of the package. And then he's got a set of hands that are open with the fingers slightly spread. There was no issue swapping these on. They look fine. He's got a set that are semi-open. They're cupped. It looks like these will be utilized to hold one of his other accessories. So let me break that out right now. He's got this little cane. Uh, there's actually two parts packed in. I assume that in the movie, the handle can be separated and it reveals a blade so he has that represented here and let's see if how he can hold this if he can hold this with no issue looks like it ju can just slip right through his hand and it can so that looks good no issues there you can hold it with either hand and then he can do this i hope let's see will this open yes one second oh so yeah there it is in his left hand and there it is in the right. No issues. The hands are soft, pliable plastic. Like with most Mezcos, there's no problem uh, with them holding their accessories. And then he's got one final interchangeable hand, which is uh, another semi-open cupped hand. But this one uh, is uh, open a bit more because he comes with a final accessory, which is a glass of milk, which he can hold. And uh, that actually doesn't really look like a glass of milk too much. It kind of looks like a candle. My daughter pointed that out, and I agree. But it's decent, and it's an accessory that could be used with other figures, obviously. Uh, but apparently this whole milk sipping thing was a big portion of the movie. And one last look at the head that comes attached to him out of the package. And we will swap on the additional head sculpts he comes with. So like the Joker figure and the upcoming uh, Netflix Punisher figure and maybe like one or two other figures that I know of uh, the head detaches the entire head and neck is one part uh, let me grab the other one hold on so he's got one head sculpt with this sort of crazy mask again I didn't see the movie so I'm not sure what happens in the movie once he puts this on or what this represents but uh, from what I can tell this looks 
uh, interesting. <laughs> I don't know if this is safe for, if this is, uh, you know, PG-13 or what's going on here. That looks very odd, uh, but it looks fine. And finally, this is a battle damaged head. So it looks like he's got blood in his mouth and blood on his chin. And then he's got his uh, nose bandaged and he's smiling. And I think they did a really good job with the texture and the shading in his hair. And I really like the way this head sculpt came out. And this again, this is uh, part of the reason why I wanted this figure. I wanted this to uh, represent maybe just some beat up goon and a Punisher or Deathstroke or any type of scene. And I do think this looks excellent. And one quick size comparison, and I'm out of here because I got to move on. I have a lot of recording to do today. I actually just got in the Mezco Catwoman as well, so I'm going to knock that review out, and I want to finish up main course. I got a lot of stuff going on, so hang out with me today, and over the next uh, 24, 48, 72 hours, I'll be putting out quite a bit of content. So uh, on the left, we have the Mezco Joker. This is the first release of Joker. And I brought him, bro broke him out because, like I said, the head and neck attachment on Joker is the same as uh, as uh, uh, Alex here. And on the right, I have the Mezco Punisher. This is the first version with the deluxe versions uh, vest, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, you can see how those stack up. And again, like I said, I wanted the parts for Alex, so I wanted to be able to maybe swap hands with uh, with Punisher here. If I wanted a ungloved look for Punisher and see how that might look. I think that Alex's hands are a little small though. Let's see. I don't know if that'll even fit. Nope. It doesn't even actually fit. So there, it, there that is in, in real time. You can't even see that. But yeah, his hands don't even actually fit there. So that's unfortunate. But let me see this. Not that you wouldn't really. All right. So yeah, that works. So obviously it'll work the other way around as well. If you wanted to get Joker in some weird outfit. Um, I don't know. This might actually work if you swap out the boots maybe for just uh, no shoes or something like that. And take off the suspenders and the um, and this crotch guard. And that might look like he's in the insane asylum. In, excuse me. Insane asylum or something like that. Uh, so that's an that's an option. But again, like I said, I'll explore this more um, on my Instagram and in main course. So look out for that. But just uh, Alex as a standalone figure. Not bad here from Mezco. Uh, obviously, there's no other supporting characters from this movie yet. If they have plans to do that, I think it would make this figure more attractive. Uh, but, you know, for 85 90 bucks, I don't know that you want to jump out the window right away for it. Uh, but it's a good figure. I do think they did a good job here. I don't have too many uh, concerns or too many gripes aside from the articulation in the upper torso or the lack of articulation overall. And that's it. Thanks for hanging out. As always, rate, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, peace.